Huxley. It's the year 632 AF, and most of civilization is part of one hood called the World State. Up in here, technology making it so that humans pop off assembly lines and be brainwashed to value nothing but what the government tells them. Constant happiness, consumption, and banging group orgies. Woo wait. And if you still ain't feeling fly, just throw back a little Soma and you get so iced out that you ain't got no worries. So some high class pusher named Bernard Marx start thinking that unlike the rest of them Soma slamming zombies, he's a trail ass individual who curious about what life on the outside be like. So Bernard hollers at some choice honey named Lenina and asks if she want to roll with him to the savage reservation where peeps be living old school. Lenina holler back. But she acting suspicious about this player since he don't like to pop pills and get dirty like she do. When Bernard and Lenina land at the Savage Reservation, they peep some gnarly beezy named Linda and her boy John who be called the Savage. Even though John and Linda been living a low life, Linda schooled John on how to read, making him a top shelf savage. After Bernard takes John back to London, John admits to Lenina that he got mad love for her. But this hoochie can't even understand what that means. Instead, she gets butt ass naked and try to get freaky with him. But my boy John wants something with meaning. So instead of tapping that ass, he pimp slaps her and sends her ass packing. Then John's mama bites the big one up in the hospital and John completely loses his shit. So the 5 0 bust in and sling him and Bernard in front of some big bird player named Mustafa Mon. Mon exiles Bernard but makes John stay because he wants the experiment to go on. Fed up with the system, John secludes himself in a lighthouse, when one day some snitch gets all up in his business and peeps John whipping himself, making him a media sensation. Later, when a big ass crowd forms outside his crib with Lenina in tow, John calls her a skank and starts laying a whoop on her. Everybody gets so riled up at the sight that they start popping Soma, screaming orgy porgy and getting their freak on. Even Johnny Boy joins in. Next day John wakes up and realizes there ain't nothing he can do to fight the civilized world he's imprisoned in. So our boy takes the only escape left and hangs himself. Ugh. Welcome to the brave new world son. If you want to roll with the world state crew, you gotta drop your beliefs and adopt a whole new jam called Fordism. Instead of giving up worldly possessions for a heaven in the sky, get ready for a soma soaked paradise now. All you gotta do is take all that art, science, history, and religion and kiss it goodbye, playboy. My man Karl Marx once said that religion is the opiate of the masses, but Huxley gone and flipped that idea on his head and made opium, aka Soma, the people's religion. And this shit right here is so dank that it also offers hope, consolation, and reassurance. Just like religion, shout better, cause you ain't even gotta do nothing. Just like Mustafa Mon say, Soma is Christianity without tears. Now open up your ears and soak this game up, B. In a place like the world state, where the motto is community, identity, and stability, there ain't nothing more dangerous than a G flying solo. Cause when you on your own, you ain't got nobody to put your strongest emotions in check. With all your love directed at only one thing, you end up unstable, miserable, and wanting to take yourself out of the game for good. Now I mean, that's why the world stay throwing all those swanky sax parties, so you can get all that excess emotion out on the red. Don't believe me? Just look how unstable Johnny Boy be when he on the reservation. He even shanks one of his mama's lovers. And it don't get no better in the civilized world. When Lenina's standing butt naked in front of him, he roughs her up, calls her a hoe, and threatens to waste her ass. Maybe there's a good reason they call him a savage. And with all that excessive emotion building up, it's no wonder that this fool ices himself. Looks like Mustafa Mon's experiment went exactly as he expected. Hey, thanks for keeping it real with Thug Notes. 